Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Mike and today before I do the actual review I want to just uh, share a little something with you that I started in another video. Now today's review is about the SBBN039 Paddy Tuner. This is obviously not that. This here is my DW002, um, the one that started it all for me in the mid 90s and I did mention in a previous video that I was going to be getting this guy back up and running. So I made a, uh, I sent a message to one of my good buddies who I was first introduced to um, back in 2010 when I first started um, recollecting watches. And his name is Gabriel and he's from, he was from Wuss, What You Seek. Um, so Gabriel also had a, a passion for these double zero, uh, these DW zero zero twos, and um, he said he had a few bits and pieces, and uh, we, you know we we became friends, really good friends over the years. So fast forward a couple of weeks ago, I said Gabriel, I'm gonna be trying to get this guy back up and running. Um, obviously, there's no front case. Uh, I know they uh, subject to resin rot, but I do want to get him up and running and um, wear him again. So Gabriel says to me, "Okay, what do you need?" I said, "I just need a contact spring for this because." Um, you know, I put a fresh battery in and it's still not working out and, and the contact spring is missing so I know I need a contact spring so he said he has a, had a few bits and pieces um, that he could send to me and I said, oh, that's great um, you know, just send me, uh, send me a picture of what you have and his words to me were don't, you don't need a picture I just need your address and I'm going to show you what Gabriel sent me when I sent him my address so, I have some husks. This is a DW003. So he sent that to me. Just set him down there. I have various cases. Now these are rubber, so they never really succumbed to the resin rot or came to the resin rot. Um, but the out the top cases did, and you don't really find them in very good condition. Another bag of spares, bits and pieces in there. And leave those, I'm going to put those to the side. He also sent me a complete head, as you can see, that has the um, I'm going to say ganja leaf that has the ganja leaf in there, and that just needs a battery and obviously a strap, and that's wearable, ready to go. Right? He sent me that. He also sent me this guy just needing a battery as you can see there's a red G that will light up in there this is fully operational very very rare to see with the case in this greater condition or in this level of condition I should say and it is great by the way um, you can see that that hasn't even started the resin rot yet and he also sent me this fantastic G glide the case is in absolute perfect condition. The battery is running. It just needs setting. Um, this just needs to be set and worn and used. It's perfect. And he sent me all of that just for the cost of shipping because I asked him for a contact spring. You know, guys, as I said, this isn't the video. Um, the one thing I want to um, say is massive thanks to Gabriel for doing this. I only needed a contact spring and he sent me basically what he had in terms of DW002 collection. Um, I'm going to definitely get keep this guy running. I'm going to keep this guy running. Um, I'm going to refresh this guy. Um, just put a new battery in it and a, and a nice strap on there and keep him going and I'm going to also be able to now with the spares get my guy going as well so that's like an instant retro collection um, these are from mid 90s and to have four of these in the collection now mid 90s pieces that really started it all for me it, it, it's it's so cool to have guys and I can't thank Gabriel enough so I just wanted to share that with you um, I, I'm gonna be getting this guy going and I'll, I'll let you I'll show I'll share that with you when he is going so you can see him and all of these guys cleaned up and and uh, running in in all of their glory so I'm just gonna move these guys out the way real quick 
and on to the review. I've met so many good guys in this club, this um, not club, it, it is kind of a club mentality, but in, in, in this in this watch, this watch thing that we do, collecting, it, it's it's awesome, and I, and I and I think that um, you know when you find friends like that, you you, you got to keep them, you got to keep good friends like that. So anyway, I'm rambling. On with the review. So today I want to review this guy, the SBBN zero thirty nine Paddy Tuner. This is a perfect tuner, guys. Um, I got this last summer, and um, it comes with the rubber strap. As you can see, I've never worn that. It's not rubber, actually. It's silicone. I've never worn that, guys. Um, it's, a, it's a nice to have, but as I've said in my previous videos, I prefer the bracelet. Um, obviously, it didn't come with a bracelet, so what I did was I purchased the MM300 ratchet bracelet. I'll just give you a quick quick wrist shot you can do this behind the camera right there you go and I have a seven and three quarter wrist guys so there it is on my seven and three quarter wrist now this bracelet is part stainless steel part titanium the clasp is titanium the bracelet is steel as you know from the MM300 family um, the ratchet has given some people some problems. I love the ratchet part of this bracelet. Um, the the fact that when you get warm, you can just open it up a little and uh, carry on, you know, without any tools is awesome for me. Um, and then just click it back when when you're when when you when you need to. I I love that. I love that versatility. Um, it works really well. I think it it suits the watch because it's an MM three hundred. Um, talking of M3, let's let's go through some specs while we're while we have the watch in picture. Let's go through some specs. So it is a Paddy tuner, um, Paddy Professional Association of uh, Dive Instructors. Now I say that not everyone knows what that means. Not everyone knows what Paddy means, and um, you'll be surprised how many people still don't know what it means. So there you go, Paddy Professional Association of Dive Instructors. It was a collaboration with Seiko to um, do, bring us this beautiful tuner. Um, I love the polished casing. It's dia shield covered, so it's protected. Um, even though I wear my watches very lightly anyway, it's protected. It's one of 700. Um, let's see if I can give you a close up of the number. It is one of 700 guys. I will, I'll carry on, but um, I'm not focusing right now. So yeah, one of 700. Um, it has the 7C46 movement in it, which is only in the Seiko tuner. So it's a quartz. It's, one would say, one of those historically throwaway movements. But this particular quartz is no ordinary quartz. So this particular quartz, the 7C46, is not only exclusive to the Seiko tuner, but it's reinforced with a Thai alloy housing. Um, it's made of predominantly all metal parts and it has seven jewels. So this is a full metal quartz serviceable movement. Now that's something you, you'll never see, a serviceable quartz movement. Usually they're plastic, majority of the components used in them are plastic and they're throwaway, right? But this guy is fully serviceable. I'm no, I have no idea how much it would cost to service this, but um, this is one that is in my collection, and um, I, I would, I want to say it's there to stay. But you know, with us collectors, you, you will say it's here to stay one day, and it will be for sale the next day. Who knows? For now, I love it. I've always wanted one. Um, I was able to get one last. I was able to get this one last summer, and um, it's beautiful. It has great wrist presence. Um, let's get into some of the specifics. So the lug to lug is um, 46.6 mil. So it's a short, short lug, um, short lug to lug. The case is a 47.6 uh, millimeters and the height is 15.1 mil. 
22 mil lug width for the bracelet, right? So it's a chunky watch. It it's, it doesn't feel ridiculously heavy, but it's not a light watch by any means. Beautiful dial, that sunburst dial on the blue paddies, much like um, the paddy turtle. I had a paddy turtle. Um, I sold that, but you know they do they do have some very beautiful dial um, formations here with that sunburst color colorway. Um, Kanji date dial date day date um, on the dial, and a lovely splash of red on the minute hand and on the chapter. It's just a beautiful watch, guys. I've I've, I've wanted this for such a long time. And um, you know, it stayed in my cart. Now, where I got it from was uh, the, a proxy site, and it's a proxy site called um, From Japan. And um, this was brand new, guys, brand new. Like I have the box and everything; it is brand new, full kit, right? Um, and I got this for around the thirteen hundred mark. Now, for brand new that is a brilliant price they'll go for more than that on the second hand market um, I thought it was worth it it might not be worth it to you um, I obviously paid a premium for the bracelet because that was separate I think the bracelet was another three hundred dollars um, but it adds to it just adds to the completion of this piece it's a lovely watch guys and as you know Seiko Loom is fantastic let me just give you a quick let me just give you a quick shot of that Seiko loom that is just a torch guys look at that it's so crisp and bright and this will stay like this all night it's in my cabinet um, when the lights go out at night time it's like this and when I wake up in the morning I get up pretty early for work. Um, it's still, still bright, guys. It's still like this. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, I know these pieces are well sought after in the community, the tuner. Um, it's great to own a tuner. I have three. I have this and I have um, the MM1000 Yellowfin tuner. I'll do a video on that as well. And I also have, lo and behold, a Golgo. And there is a story with that one too. So, yeah, SBBN023 Golgo. And that was um, f as a full kit as well. So look out for that video too, guys. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and that is my Seiko Tuna. Paddy Tuna. So guys... Wear your watches in the best of health. Until next time, take care.